YouTube. This is Miss Miss Natural doing a product review on Mixed Silk by Silk El Elements Natural Curls for Natural Girls. Remember I told you and I think it was my last video that I had started using this. I purchased it from Sally's. They were running a special. I think it was last month and I was using it and um, I really do enjoy this. I really do it um it was like five five ninety nine no it was four it was five dollars something but I did get on a discount because I have a beauty club membership and um it was kind of a special they were running. But this is a great product. I don't I try not to use a lot of it because like I said before, I don't like to go heavy handed with a lot of my products. And especially with this one because to me it was kind of expensive but I did want to try it and like I said I really do like it another thing what I my main reason for this is you know to not to just moisturize, hair, but moisturize my hair but to give my my wash and go when I do my wash and go it's a little bit more of a my curls to pop more they pop but I, I think, you know, it uh it's more longer lasting if I want to try to pull it off the next, the next day. So, I've been using this for a month. And as you can see, it's about right here. Just really. So, I've used, that's not exactly really half the bottle. But, you know, no, I guess it is, whatever. But I do use it, and uh, more than likely I'll be using it tonight. When I do my little, I'm going to wash, not wash my hair, do a condition wash. Because it's not time for my shampoo yet. And uh, clap my hair back up for the rest of the work week. But I, like I said, I wanted to get back with you all because I told you all about it in my last video. And I want to do a, a product review on this. Also, I did press my hair on last week. I did a warm press. And I, I can say I really did in, enjoy it. Um, I tried, I did, what I did do, let me tell you the process I did. I had my hair in two braids, in two, two braids, and I wore them for a couple of days. And what I did was, um, I said, well, let me just, you know, just go ahead and just do it. So since my hair was already dry, I just took the braids down and used coconut oil. I used coconut oil to press my hair, and I put that throughout my hair. And as I was pressing, and listen, I used an electric hot comb. Not the one for the stove, not the Marcel, even though I do have one. I used the electric. And I put it at medium heat. And so I pressed my hair. I took my time and I pressed it. And it didn't take as long as I thought it was going to take. Like I said, I pressed my hair. And after that was done, I did my trim because it was time for a little bit of a trim. And that was it. I wore it like that for almost a week. Uh, what I would do, I would like wear it half up, let it hang down, or I would wear it all in a ponytail. And like I said, I just enjoyed it. Enjoyed it for a couple of those days. It did have, it did rain, but my hair didn't, you know, revert back too bad because it made because of how I had it styled. Um, but what I didn't like, um, I would comb it at the ends at night so it would get really just tangled. And I, I would comb the ends at night and put it in two pigtails and my bonnet on. And I made sure that I had my oil in it. I, I used coconut oil and I think I used olive oil a couple of times. But I got to the point that I started missing my hair. So what I did, uh, I'm not going to say missing my hair, but missing the my natural curly glorious hair <laughs> and I just washed it it was time for washing away because it was itching kind of bad and it reverted and I moisturized I'm going to do a deep condition one day this week and my hair is fine I didn't I haven't noticed haven't seen any damage at all so what I feel what works best for me to, to minimize as much heat as possible. And if that means a two-day process, 
who they process it is. That is what I will do. I will wash the day before, wash real good, deep condition, whatever have you, put it up in plaque, take it down the next day, and press my hair out. But I would not do it on a regular basis. That is something that I would do when I feel uh, for special occasion or when I feel like I may want to feel like pressing my hair out. I don't have no problem with pressing hair out. I don't have no problem in relaxed hair. Whatever suits that person. I'm not going to be the person that says, don't do this, don't do that. Whatever you do with your hair, make sure you just take care of your hair. Like I said, whether it's relaxed, tech black, whatever, just take care of your hair. We all do different things with our hair, and that's what's great about our world. Everyone has their own thoughts and opinion and feelings of ex self-expression. So if your self-expression is to press your hair out that week or that day or that month or for the rest of your life, that's your choice. Okay, on to the next. Book. The last time I spoke with you all, I was, I was letting you all, I'm telling you all what books I read. Well, I have finished book one in the Twilight series. And I know y'all said that is so old, which granted I know it is, but me being, <laughs> being late about it, I did just get on the bandwagon and I enjoyed it. I love the book. After I finished book one, I ran out to Blockbuster and got the movie. Because to be honest, when everybody was all hyped up about it and everything, I knew what was going on. I, didn't, I guess I wasn't putting too much attention to it. So now that I know what's going on, I'm hooked. I'm addicted. So I placed my order with Amazon. So hopefully, probably not this week, but next week, I will have book two. And once I finish that, go on to the movie. But I enjoyed the love story about Edward and Bella and all. It was just so beautiful to me. And I can It's just, you get caught up in it. You forget he's a vampire and all. So. Those of you all have read the book or watched the movie, you know what I'm saying. It's just, I know I'm 30 years old and I enjoyed it. So, I mean, it was great. Well, back to natural hair. I, I enjoy being natural. I, I can't deny that. I really do enjoy being natural. But sometimes, you know, you try so many styles and you don't want to, you know, and you get to a point like, I need to kind of punch it up a bit. I need to do something, you know, so my thing for the summer, I said as we come into spring and summer, more warmer weather, I think I am going to color my hair. I, I do like, and I'm speaking of coloring, I am careful with the color. And, it, and, and it, I thought about it, I said I almost got my hair on the calendar if because this is what I do. Since I've been natural, it, especially for the last couple of years, between the months of January and February, I do a color. And I use textures and tones then. But once that fades, when it gets around Easter time, I do a retouch because I don't do it with the textures and tones. I get the Clairol, um, it's in the bottle, it's in a brown bottle, and I get the color that, that matches with the color in my hair. And, and then after that, most times, I don't color again. I don't color again, and it seems to pretty work. So, that's what I do. That's, I guess, I do that, and it keeps, you know, it keeps me, um, my hair, keep my hair, um, jazzed up for me, uh, give me something different, and I'm being safe about it. I'm not get, damaging my hair. Mm -hmm. Um. Another thing, back to what I was saying, you want to do different things with your hair. You want to be able to do something with, you know, um, not get bored with your hair. So I like to try different styles, and I search YouTube for natural hair, you know, not to mimic what someone else is doing, but to get an idea or inspiration of what I can do for myself. And granted, uh, you know, I just, today, because I had four braids in my hair, one here, one there, one here, back there, and um, I was looking at it, I'm like, I don't want it down, so what I did, I just pushed it all to the back, like I was telling you all in the beginning, and 
and just said, you know, I like it. I like my hair being down, and I like it being up. And I guess, you know, I want to, I'm, I'm, I'm welcoming myself to trying new things because I'm enjoying my natural hair. So, I, I, I know it's not just me. And I just want to know if there are other natural ladies out there that get to a point with you on your natural hair journey that you're getting like, hmm, I've, I've done this, I've done that, I need to punch it up. And I know that's when the coloring comes in, the different things come in. And please just come in or do a video response and, you know, just share what you've done or if you haven't done it yet, tell me something you may be thinking about doing to try to spice up your natural hair journey. So, please subscribe as you always, I ask. I hope those of you who have watched my videos, please, I hope you enjoy them. Check out the ones before this um i am new to this so i'm trying to work out all the kinks for being in front of the camera but once sometimes once i do get to talking i know i get to talking so much and rambling i have to force myself to stop but please subscribe i i really do enjoy this i enjoy watching different videos not just natural hair on youtube i think it's a very informative site and i want to be as much as informative with you all as possible the product review that I did today was Mixed Silk by Silk Elements, Natural Curls for Natural Girls, and it's a leave-in conditioning cream. So, it's a great product. I will see you all next time. If you have been wondering about this product, you know how it's going to do it to your hair. I'm telling you, it works great. It, I, like I said, I'm light-handed with it, but it works great. And I really enjoyed talking with you all today. You all have a great, blessed, and wonderful Sunday and a great week. Bye.